Praise the Lord. Our diversity gives us the strength to soar and our differences give us a colorful world. So we must rise like the phoenix, even though we have nothing but desolate heritages. For the blessing was stolen as surely as Esau had his birthright ripped away by the younger brother Jacob. Christianity stole the covenant addressed to give equality unto all men. And then they said, we are Israel and all prophecy is for us. So once the world realizes that the very truest truth is that the Jesus of Christianity is a false Christ because he is not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, as he said in John 10. And he is not the Lord God of all mankind, as he said in uh, Jeremiah 32, 27. And he is not a God of true love, unconditional love, for there has never been conditional love divine as the Lord God of Christianity, only conditional love, nor has he ever been a respecter of man. And as it is written in the Bible, it is a sin to have respect for creation. He has always loved us the same. So for you, Morg official, it's time for you to fly away as the vulture that you have always been. For you are the raven of God and you are the lawless one revealed. And all Hyperians following you are foolish. And you, they will end up like the dodo bird because they will live their lives being dodos for no damn good reason. Because morgue official, you have uh, no... Uh, gumption about you, no courage to ever face me, for you are a chicken shit sword swallower who would much rather swallow your sword than to face Elijah. I am Shiloh who has eyes red and dull of wine, and my eyes are red of fury over your false bullshit that people are falling for, hook, line, and sinker as you rake in mountains of money like a greedy man who has no love for humanity, would never debate how to bring you un unity of the world because you really don't give a damn. By debating me, that is something that a loving person would do to help iron sharpen iron so that we can arise one people under one loving God he is now ripping down the mountains and he's uh, tearing, lifting up the valleys. And these are the days of Elijah. And he says to all people of love, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity and I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, none shall ever need to even be taught of me, saith the Lord God, for all who love are born again of me and know me, for I am love, 1 John 4, 7. So in this hour, it's time to turn things around and to rip uh, the, the satanic world a new one in order to turn back the battle at the gates of hell in the days of the uh, uh, banishment of Diablo, Satan, Beelzebub, Lucifer, and uh, Morg, I know you will cry over that one, but these are the days of Daniel 12, 1, and he had to be removed. Otherwise, he would have made God into a liar as the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, uh, accusing us. So how could God, using your brand of logic and reason, Mr. Morg, how could he have said unto Satan, and I will never remember your iniquity, if he's right there in his ear, telling him about how how many swords you have swallowed that are not made of steel.